Good morning, kindergarten. So this morning we are going to be learning about the parts of a book and it's going to be super helpful for us because we're going to be reading lots of books this year, but you'll also be needing to know these words that we're learning today for when you get to first grade and second grade and third grade. And even when you are in college or as an adult, you need to know what these words mean. So today, we're going to be learning some new words that will help us learn about the parts of a book. Okay, so on my screen, on the slide, you can see that on the top, there is a title on here about what we are learning. And it says parts of a book. And it is in blue because when we do English, we do it in blue. And then on the bottom, I went ahead and wrote it in Spanish as well for the students and parents who cannot understand English. That way it helps them. So hoy vamos a aprender sobre las partes de un libro, parts of a book. And we are going to be focusing on the front cover of a book. So when you open a book, it has a front cover and a back cover. So these are the front covers of a book. And if you can see, there's lots of letters on the covers of a book. But what do those letters mean? ¿Qué son estas palabras que vemos? Todas estas letras que vemos en la portada de un libro. So that's what we are going to be learning about today is what do these words mean? And we can see on this one, it says, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. And it has bigger letters. And down here, the words are smaller. It says, words and pictures by Mo Williams. And so the bigger letters, the bigger words will be the title of the book. And the title of the book tells us what the book is called or the name of the book, the title. So I want you to do it with me and I want you to do title. And then we have right here, it says words and pictures by Mo Williams. So that means that Mo Williams is both the author. So he wrote the words inside the book and he is also the illustrator. That means he drew the beautiful pictures and he chose the colors that he was going to use. He is an illustrator. That means he's an artist. He drew the pictures that you see in the book. And another word for pictures is illustrations. And we are going to be making lots of illustrations in kindergarten. So on the second book here, we can see Lucia the Luchadora and you can see that the title is on the top and titulo, the title of the book is on the top because it has bigger letters and then it has smaller letters and smaller words down here and it has two different ones. So when you see a book, it's always going to have the title first and then second, it'll have the author's name who is the person that wrote the book and then Third, you're going to find the name of the illustrator, who is the person that drew the pictures and chose the colors for the book. So we have the title, the author, and the illustrator. Those are the three important parts about the front cover of a book. Okay, so on this one, I went ahead and wrote the words for you. And this one is one of my favorite books of all time. And hopefully I can read it to you guys soon when we're in the classroom. This one is called El Chupacabras. And I pointed the arrow where it says title because it shows you these big yellow letters are the title of the book, El Chupacabras. You can see the arrow is pointing, and this is also called labeling. So sometimes as a writer, 
you want to show people where things are so you can label things and then you have the author's name that's the first name right here adam rubin he is the author and author starts with the letter a he is the one that wrote the book and then we have another name right here that starts with the c crash mccreary he is the illustrator and illustrator starts with the i he's the one that drew the pictures and painted the beautiful colors in the book crash mccreary okay so your activity for today is that you are going to practice the three parts of a book cover so the three parts, I'm gonna do it for you a few more times, that way we can practice. So a book cover has three important parts. It has the title, it has the author's name, and sometimes it also has the illustrator's name. So I'm gonna give you some examples. So on this one, the title of the book is La Mariquita Mal Humorada, The Crouchy Ladybug. And you can tell this is the title because the letters are bigger, but it only has one name. So if it only has one name, that means that Eric Carl, he is both the author and he is also the illustrator. So he did extra work on this book because he both wrote the words and he also drew and chose the colors for the beautiful illustrations in the book. On this one, you can tell the title of the book because the letters are way bigger. And the title of the book is not at the top on here. It's actually closer, a little bit below the author and the illustrator's names. But I know that this is the title because the letters are bigger. And on here, it has both the author and the illustrator. So the author is Jane Yolen, and the illustrator is Mark Teague. And these are some of my favorite books. I love the illustrations on here. The dinosaur has his backpack and he's ready for school. So these are some of my favorite illustrations. So remember your activity for today is you're going to make me a video and you're going to tell me what the parts of a book are. So you're going to need to practice with your mom or your dad or your nanny or your brother or your sister before you send me the video, okay? So you're going to practice and then you're going to tell me the parts of a book. So I'm going to do it one last time before I say goodbye. So a book has three important parts. It has the title, the author, and the illustrator. Okay, I will see you guys. Adios.